Hi, I'm Susan. Today I'm participating in the 50 Stack Challenge 2 hosted by Amy of Crafty Cat. And our prompts for today is empty and full. So this little girl's arms are empty and this little girl's arms are full of flowers. So I hope you'll enjoy this video and I hope you're having a great day. So let's get started. Now these are prompts 35 and 36 and I already had, I'm going to make journaling cards and I'm just going to cut these down to fit. So I've got my deckle scissors. I hope they still work. I'm trying to talk as I craft. I'm not very good at it. But, and I won't say I'll always do this. Because it's hard for me to think and talk at the same time. I'm barely walking chew gum. But I'm willing to give it a try if this is what you want. If you like it the other way where I just intro and outro and play music in between, let me know. I'm going to cut these down. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Just so they'll fit on this card. I love these images. They come from Mrs. Cox Crafts. I, ha I have a lot of hers. And I believe it's Rachel Bella's that I have a lot of as well. They're just so pretty. I love these vintage -y images makes you long for times past okay now these this should be pretty straightforward and easy today the images do most of the work for you so i'm just going to ink up the edges here it has been so pretty it's been cool but sunshiny that's the way we like it in Mississippi because it'll be hot and humid before we know it. But it's been around the 60s, which is really kind of unusual for this, you know, May. We usually start getting the hot weather. And so we're not complaining because come, come August and September, it's going to be rough. Envelopes. Well, duh. I thought they were cardstock. Well, this is even better. Or not envelopes, but cards. We'll just go with it. You can stick these in a pocket just as easily as a tag, can't you? They were awfully thick. My husband and I are watching 24. And old Jack Bauer has really got us hooked. We're on season two. We missed it the first go round, and so we were just looking for something that he and I like to watch, and we like those kind of action pack. The first one was so intense, I said, we're going to give ourselves a break, because it was just like on the edge of your seat. But after two days, I'm like, I wonder what's going on with Jack. So we started watching season two, and it's good as well, but we're both ready for it to be over. We're about, we're over halfway through. But they really hook you in and you don't know who to trust. All right. So let's, oh, I need to ink this one.
Do y'all have favorite shows that you like to binge watch? I'm more for the mystery cop type. I love British TV. And I just finished watching the Fran Fisher and the um, Doc Martin. All right, let's get these down. I don't know the, no one can do murder mysteries like the British. I guess it was fell in love with Agatha Christie as a kid. Love those little girls. Okay. So now I want to decorate. I'm gonna have to find something to decorate at least a little bit of something. Most of the inside's gonna be journaling spot. Let's see here. I've got to ink. I have enjoyed this challenge. It has been a lot of fun. I did the first one as well with the guest checks. And I have a huge stack of ephemera now and I need to get busy making journals. I haven't I've been falling down on the job doing that. I'd like to open up an Etsy store and sell some of my journals. If I ever get them made. But I have, I love paper crafting. I love paper. I used to scrapbook years ago and you kind of get away from something. You know, time, working. And you come back to it and you just realize how much you love it. I'm going to glue these down. I love my art glitter glue. I love the Murder and Mystery Channel too, Hallmark. We don't get it anymore. We finally got high speed internet. That's something we never had because we live out in the country. And we finally got it and so we got rid of our dish. And we have Hulu instead. Sometimes they have some but it's not like you have the whole series. I love the way those look. Those are so cute. And I think on the inside, I think I want to do some coffee dyed paper. I'll be right back. I'm just going to, just to put on the right side. You could journal over it. Some people don't like inking. 
and so you don't have to ink. But I do like inking. <laughs> I feel like it's put, putting on your whole set of makeup and not adding the lipstick at the end if you don't ink. But that's me. I like other people when they don't ink, but it, to me, I just, I can't do it. Unless I forget. Okay. I'll glue this down. something. I'll just put a little washi sticker or something on that side. I have butterflies. Let's see. Maybe a different color so it won't blend in so much. white. Well, that's a reason to get more washi stickers. I like that. Now the trick is going to be getting it off. I'm sure y'all talk to your craft products as well, don't you? It's not just me, is it? Okay. There we go. Cards. Oh, I got lace. I don't think I need it though. Hmm. I don't think I'll, I don't think I need it. Well, here they are. I hope you like them. I've got my empty. And I've got my full. And they are so cute. I love the little girls. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Ring that bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. Be sure and check out Amy's channel. Be sure and check out the hashtag 50 stack challenge too to see what everyone else has made. So y'all have a great and wonderful day. And until next time, bye y'all.